Well, I think I do want to try to do the like um, the one that's written at ninety. Okay. For uh, like both both times. When you try to do it, let me see what it sounds like, because then we can go from there. Oof. This is a complicated stroke to to explain through this medium, but I I hope I do a good job. Let's see. Okay. It's a good test for me. I think what, what you're being shy about it is to just to use the rest of your bow because you're doing and then you just stay here like trying to over control which one mm -hmm. and by having so much control over it you're not moving your bow that's why it's so hard so, so your bow still keeps moving horizontally right so mm -hmm. keep moving your bow up bow. Uh, let's just do it on just one note. So okay. Is the one that I have a little more 
energy to it, right? And then the others are kind of a result of it. There's like going fully down, you know, just going back up. Or what I think I want to do is. Oh, I see. Kind of like halfway. Or there's like going across mm -hmm. there. This it's easier to try if it's just in one string. I think once you get comfortable, you can start doing the, the string crossing. So if you're going to do the string crossing, just make sure you practice just the, the actual open strings first. So if you're going to do something like that, right, if you're going to be changing on the last two notes mm -hmm. or, or just in the last note, I don't know what fingering you're going to be doing or if it's mm -hmm. going to be... Okay. But the one we're just practicing here, uh, I thought you're doing it in just one string. So let's try that fingering and see if <laughs> it works. Okay. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 